What's up everybody, Tyler here. Today I have an awesome video. I'm gonna be sharing with you probably the best set of the year so far, the Daily Bugle. This thing is massive. It has a lot of really cool minifigs. So it's set number 76178. You can see over here with the 18 plus style packaging. But yeah, so let's look at this set a little closer here. Awesome brick built daily bugle at the top. You can see I have all the minifigs kind of spaced out everywhere, flying around. You have the green goblin busting out of the, the building. They did a really cool job with that. You have these video boards with the news going around. Daredevil on top of the entrance to the Daily Bugle. Venom on top of this little newsstand that's on the outside. Even comes with this little taxi. And I have Carnage on top. Pretty sweet. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let me see. Pull closer to me here. Oh, his Venom falls off. Steven on the side. Bo Osborne for mayor. We have Gwen Stacy. There's a little side panel that pops out so you can see inside. I know it's pretty dark. Get a better view of that in a little bit. There's even a, a New York sewer cover. I just kind of have all the minifigs stuck on here. Not in any specific spot. Do have a really cool Punisher minifig back here. So there's these two dumpsters that have some trash in it. A little web covering Peter's backpack. Some AC unit. There's even a one right up here as well with a little bird nest. So you have more. I think this one's just a little like a bulletin board. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson. A little uh, balcony shelf back here. Just some really cool detail around the whole building, this little back alley. You have this fire escape, goes up the whole side. A few mini figs hanging off it. Have a really cool blade mini fig right here. Like I said, a little newsstand that pops off. You can put a minifig in there. Let's look at these closer. Earlier today, villains promised to stop being bad guys. Can they be trusted? <laughs> and then you have this big one. Just the facts. Is Spider-Man to blame for the clone epidemic? Out of control. So, very interesting. All right, so now I'm gonna, we're gonna take a closer look at some of these minifigs. So let me get them in a better spot so we could view those. There's quite a few of them. All right, so I got all the minifigs laid out. There's quite a few of them, 25 to be exact. And there's some really epic ones. I don't think there's one minifig that's bad in this collection though. So you kind of have a really nice variety. Some villains, a few civilians, some classic characters. All right, so I'm gonna start with the civilians over here on the far right. So to begin with, we have Ron Barney. Then we have Bernie the cab driver. And Amber Grant. So those are your three civilians. So obviously a cab driver. You can have one in the newsstand. One in the, the bugle lobby. And so start off with the, the villains over here. We have Black Cat. A nimble, cunning criminal with sticky paws. Next to her, we have Mysterio, a poisonous villain known for conjuring nasty surprises. 
Then we have the Green Goblin. Freaky villain with an explosive bag of tricks. Then we have Firestar, a mutant hero with, with ability to conjure fire. Then we have some of the Bugle employees. So the first one is Robbie Robertson. A bugle editor with a spidey shaped soft spot. Then we have Ben Urch, a bugle reporter always first with the big stories. Betty Brant, a bugle staff member and romantic interest of Peter. Then we have the man himself, J. Jonah Jameson, grizzly bugle editor with a Spider Man grudge. So then we have Gwen Stacy, Peter's college crush, and Ghost Spider alias. Then we have Peter Parker, which is which it says the bugle photographer and the guy behind that mask. Then we have Aunt May, Peter Parker's loving and unsuspecting auntie. Then we have three of the best minifigs in the bunch in my opinion we have blade which says fierce merciless hunter of vampires and monsters we have daredevil crime fighting hero with superhuman senses then we have the punisher a brutal unforgiving vigilante bad guys beware so here's the couple versions of spidey we have Ghost Spider, which is Gwen Stacy's all action alter ego. We have Miles Morales, alternate universe Spider-Man with awesome abilities. And then we have Spider-Man, the original web slinging wonder. We have Venom and Carnage. For Venom, it says dark dangerous villain with alien origins. And for Carnage, a powerful alien enemy of Spider-Man and Venom. Then we have Spider-Ham, a.k.a. Peter Porker, part pig, part spider, all hero. And we have Dr. Octopus, villain with a deadly combo of brains and tentacles. And back here, we have Sandman, a tricky villain with shape-shifting powers. And he's on a cool build that kind of has some articulation. Looks like he's bursting out of the ground. And this part is actually the minifig. This would be like the legs. So there's the 25 minifigs. I could sit here and talk a little more, but it would take a while and show the alternate faces. There is some really cool ones. Like uh, J. Jonah Jameson here has one where the, let me show you, where the spider, let me get his hair off, where Spider-Man webbed his mouth up. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. It's a cool alternate face. So before I knock any more of these figures over, as I keep doing, <laughs> Spider, Peter Parker and Gwen falling over. So like I said, I think these minifigs are amazing. They did a really good job with them. These three right here, like I said, are my favorite. Really awesome. So hopefully you like the figures. So when I was showing you the figures, this is what I was reading inside the instructions. It kind of gives you a little, little piece on each character, which is really cool with this many characters. So it gives you a little understanding of everybody. So I thought it'd be cool just to kind of read that out while showing the characters. And also kind of shows building the bugle and the construction, gives you some info. Some more stuff. These were all printed, which are really nice. The little newspaper stories. And here's the, the bags and what you're building with each section. So with the 16 bags and all those minifigs. All right, with all the figures off, kind of see it looks kind of bare. The figures add some nice color and flair to the building. But right now I'm gonna take apart all the sections since it's like a modular style building and show you the interiors of each one. All right, so we're gonna start with the, the bottom floor. 
the Daily Bugle lobby. So it has a basic uh, sliding door in the front, it's kind of cool. I really like this te textured, uh, not even textured, but this uh, tile patterning, little checkered board look. So you have a newsstand in the front. You can see some of the stuff. I could pull, pull this off, I think, or just pop that off so you could see inside. Got a Wilson Fisk, I Love NYC, No Crime, No Thanks to Spider Menace. <laughs> so you have the Daily Bugle sign right here, which is a sticker element. You have a little clear piece for a minifig of your choice to sit up front. A little fire hydrant. You have a, a sewer cover, a little mouse, and like I showed before, this pops off, bust out the wall. You can see a um, little vending machine. Let me pull this out while I'm right here. Really cool build. Got a little sticker on the side. It says web juice. So that was a really cool build. It's there for right now. Got the back alley, some boxes, a little rat. Peter's backpack he threw up there. Some trash cans, dumpsters. Some pretty cool details. You got an AC unit with a bird. So let's come back around to the front here. Show you the interior. Couple things going on. You kind of have this video board that says this just in. Vampire spotted on subway. Panic as garlic supplies hit an all-time low. <laughs> and so this kind of has a little articulation. You can move it out of the way. Um, you can see there's an elevator. And that will be on each level. Kind of like a fake elevator. You have a little security desk. With some stuff in there. I know the camera isn't maybe focusing the best or hard to see. You have some seats down here with the same no crime, no thanks to Spider Menace. Addition. Now, let me see if I could get it to focus on these if we'll be able to see. So there's some cool little stories that are posted on the wall. I like the middle one that says Lego Man Walks on the Moon. It has a little moon Lego guy. Okay. So some some cool some cool little details on this first floor. There's even a back door, kind of says exit, and then even I think on the back it says exit, and it says Eddie was here carved in with a little green goblin graffiti as well. All right, so that's the first floor. Let's go on to the next floor. All right, so here's the second floor. I set it on top of the first floor. It's kind of where the, the news people do their work. A bunch of little desks. Little, they have little TV monitors, different news stories going on. Cool little computers. They got keyboards and little screens and a lamp. You have a stack of law times. Really cool uh, water jug build right there. Some cool techniques. And you can see the elevator that I was talking about, the shaft that kind of, you can kind of see it, see it in there and it kind of goes up, which is cool. You have more stories on the side. Time scare. You have a little, little coffee stand here, little coffee cups and so all the workers could get their, their cup of joe, work on their stories. So it's a cool little, little workers area. Nice detail. I like how it's all tiled. And just some of the little styles that you use to build these desks. And that water jug back there is really cool. So that's the second floor. Kind of want to show you how... Let me grab 
So this is the this is the wall that clicks in on the front. You have those stories that I kind of showed earlier. Show them up a little closer. So like uh, there'd be like TV screens on the outside of the building. So let me see if I could do this with the one hand. So it just clicks in pretty easy and pops on really cool. And then you just pull them off to get inside. It's a really cool way that Lego pulled this off. There's a lot of windows so you can kind of see in still without pulling, pulling that off. And there's also this uh, fire escape that starts, you flip that down, goes up the whole side of the building. So you can see there's a ledge right here, a little balcony. And so the next two levels are a little smaller. All right, so I'm gonna show you the next floor. All right, so here's the third floor. This is Peter Parker's office and kind of outside storage area. That's real crammed. So here's his desk and you have a portrait of Spider-Man. You have a couple post-it notes on a board, and a phone, real bare. Out here, you got a spider with a web, the elevator. You got this really cool um, copy machine. Some really cool little builds on each of the floors. You have a pizza box with a camera, a pile of magazines. Can't even get out the door. <laughs> so this is a real simple little a little story here on the third floor. Not much going on, but there is some. Let me get a top down view so you can see a little more in here. Let me pop this up. So yeah, so there's the, the balcony on the back side. And then let me try to do this. And so you have a door that will lead in magazines <laughs> into the into Peter's little area so that's third floor and what's cool about this floor let me grab it this is where the green goblins burst in through so this is a really cool build the way they did this the Lego designers give them props for this one looks cool looks like it's bursting out you got the fire effects you have a little hoverboard that he rides on. I mean, it's a pretty sturdy build. It just has like a little, little clip kind of style thing, but it works really well. And it looks like it's flimsy, but I mean, it it's not. I mean, it kind of bounces around, but it's, it's on there. So let me see if I could click this on the one hand as well. All right. So that was the third floor. So let me throw on the last floor. All right, so this is the fourth and final floor. So this would be J. Jonah Jameson's office and a little desk for his secretary. You have the TV screen up here that's showing what's on the big screen out on the front. So there's a little desk, Let's see if we could see. Miss Calls from Eddie Brock, which is Venom. You have that elevator in the corner. And you have J. Jonah Jameson's desk. Reward for photos of Spider-Man. He has a couple trophies with that cool little rock Lego piece. And on his, his computer, well, let's pull the whole desk off, I guess. It says, Parker at web, you're fired. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. So overall, cool little floor. You can put your figures in here. Like I said, I like how these are all, it's all nice and tiled, different colors, different little styles on each one, little details and all. And there's obviously a door, some windows to see through. 
yeah, so overall, pretty awesome. And then here's the, the final windows to click on. Maybe a bunch of little flagpoles. Like I said before, it's really cool. You can see in all the rooms still with the windows. I know a lot of people will set up too many windows, I think, though. I think it looks really good. And that people also are complaining that the color is too bland, but you got some red. I mean, I know a lot of this, this gray, this bluish gray, I guess, is the one, the color. But then, like I was saying earlier, all the minifigs add a really cool color and flair to the building. All right, so let me show you the roof that sits on top. And we're pretty much done. All right, so I got the roof on. So it has this awesome Daily Bugle brick built. Pretty awesome build, simple, real effective. You have this tower that makes the set really tall. I believe it's 32 inches height-wise, which is really crazy. And there's that little clear piece with the for the Fire Star to be flying off of it. Really cool. I like the way they pulled that off. So here's the back side of the top. You have a water tower with the Miles Morales graffiti and a green goblin. So overall, really awesome. I love the brick built sign. Big fan of that. I think it looks really well. They did a really good job. But this thing is massive. The height and scale of it. All right, so let me get the minifigs back on there and finish up this video. All right, I almost forgot. So there's two vehicles. I showed the taxi earlier, and then there's this little spider, this little spider buggy that sits on the side of the building, and you can kind of articulate it, have it upside down, up, so it crawls up the side of the building. So two little, two little vehicle builds, also. All right, so I got all the minifigs placed. Pretty cool little stories you could kind of tell with all the figures. You have Sandman bursting out in the front. I have Carnage jumping off the, the front entrance. Aunt May down here screaming, all worried. I have Venom jumping off this newsstand with Blade sneaking up behind him. In the back alley, I have Punisher about to fight Daredevil. And we've got Gwen Stacy walking through the alley on her way, maybe to go see Peter <laughs> in the midst of all the chaos. And we have the Green Goblin bursting through, bursting through the office. I have Spider-Man swinging off the top to go fight Doc Ock and Green Goblin. And you have J. Jonah Jameson staring outside, probably all upset at Spider-Man swinging right outside his window. <laughs> have Mysterio floating off the side of the escape. So yeah, do some really cool things. So there's the figure up there. Looks really good flying off the top. And I have Miles just got done tagging the water tower. So overall, like I said, this is probably the best set of the year so far. Definitely, in my opinion, probably even the best Lego Marvel set that they've put out. So hopefully they continue with these big Marvel sets catered towards the more adult crowd and the collectors, which I'm sure they will. If this does well, I'm pretty sure it did. Seemed really popular. There's a lot of people at the store on the day it came out to pick it up. But overall, definitely one of my favorite sets I have. Just the sheer size of it and the scale 
in the modular style building will fit in perfectly in like a Lego city. So I gotta get started on that and incorporate this in. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give me a like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload more videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. Later, have a great day.